four. Very hard CPU to run. Boom. And that's the uh, W Prime 32 record with the QX9650. Very tough CPU to bench. Close to 5.8 gigahertz. The CPU, very good. So, uh, 6422, previous top score 6437 from 2017. So we can try maybe Pi Fast now. This needs. Sixteen three eight. Uh, it's still far from the top scores. Should drop the core count, I think. Okay, so that's the uh, most important score with the QX nine six fifty. So uh, Super Pi 32 amp record score of 8 minutes 0 0.781 seconds. The previous top score was by Giorgio Primo from February of 2008. That's almost 13 years ago. And that was uh, 8 minutes 1.48 seconds. So as, as all, I was like 0.7 seconds faster. I know the score is not very good but I only have like three liters of LM2 left, so uh, I wanted to get something, so I wanted to play it safe, so here's the score, so uh, 5880 on the CPU, on the Church of Primo's run, he was running, uh, I think 4940, yeah, around 4940, 4937, so uh, I'm like 60 megahertz lower CPU frequency, but I still beat him, that's damn awesome, and memories are quite good, 
1960 at 6, 7, 4, 20, 60 command rate 1. Not the tightest possible, but relatively tight or quite tight. So uh, I'll definitely just save these. Yeah, I don't have an SPD. Doesn't matter. So very good. I'll see if I can get anything more like 1M or Pi Fast. Can try W Prime 1024M later. That's the top score, 15.66. Okay, so that's the top score in Pi Fast, 15.66. Previous top score by High Pro 5 at 15.68. So we beat the previous top score by 20 milliseconds. So I think that's a very good result. I was a bit under in the CPU frequency. I, I was at 5927. He was at uh, one base clock higher, I think, if I'm not completely mistaken. So, uh, very good result, if you ask me. So now I only miss 1M, W Prime 1024M, and CPUZ validation. I will not be getting CPUZ validation, that's for sure. But uh, W Prime would be awesome, but I don't have enough LN2 for that score right now. But yeah. Okay, that's all for now. So uh, I got three top scores with the QX9650 out of six. Considering that I only had a few liters of LN2 left, it went very all right. So I think I got only like uh, 10 liters of LN2 for these scores and I got half of the uh, important top scores. So I got the, I got the top score in 
uh, W Prime 32, Pi Fast, and in Super Pi 32M. I was a bit sad that I crashed at uh, like loop 15 in 32M with a bit higher CPU frequency, Be uh, because if that if that had passed, I would have gone below eight minutes. So it would have been a very nice milestone. Although breaking a top score, which was made almost 13 years ago is already a very nice milestone in itself. Now uh, I'm pretty sure that this CPU cannot go any higher than this, so it definitely cannot take down the max validation or the best score in Superbuy 1M. I think I could get the uh, W Prime 1024M, but uh, even that is very hard. So we'll see what happens. Now uh, this is the only QX 9650 I ever tried in my life. So these are the results of of a just single CPU. So considering that, I think it went very all right. So uh, we'll see what happens next. The QX 9650 is a very tricky CPU to run. So uh, you really have to play around with the voltages if you really want to max the CPU. So we'll see if I get any of any more of these CPUs later. My uh, E8600 tests failed as well. I had a few very golden uh, uh, CPUs, but they all had very bad scaling on LN2. So those results kind of failed, but I learned a lot about the 8600s once again. And I'll see if I can improve those later as well. But yeah, I think that's all for now. So uh, I hope you like to see these scores once again, uh, along with the uh, RDX 3090 Kimpi results. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any comments or questions about the video. But uh, other than that, thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you on the next one.